It's round three of the Aviva Premiership and Bath, who remain at home, have the tough ask of playing against the Leicester Tigers after they got their first win in round two against the London Welsh. Now the pressure goes up. The teat is reaching its maximum. The Leicester Tigers, undefeated, will be travelling to face Bath Rugby in this round three Aviva Premiership fixture. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cool Flakes Crib, your home of Rugby 15. We were in the Aviva Premiership for our third round match with Bath and a few changes, well, just the one in the starting 15 for Bath this week. It is Sam Burgess, who everyone wanted to see back in the Bath side, playing at outside centre. I just can't bring myself to put him in the forwards just yet. I think just like in the actual game out there, he is better suited to a hard running style out in the back line sure he is more of a forward build but he's got the ability he's got the power he's got the skills but the jury very much still out on Burgess otherwise unchanged from the team that beat the London Welsh in round two of course it was a first up loss to the South Sharks that really dented their start to the season but now they're back a win under their belt and they'll be looking to put another one on the board. But it's tough here against the Leicester Tigers, who are one of the top teams in the Aviva Premiership. Bath, can they keep this form going? Can they win two in a row? The Leicester Tigers have had a fantastic start to their season. Two wins from two matches, and they sit second on the table. So all the twos for the Tigers. Their team, as you'd expect, very good. You look at their back line, it's full of skill. The forwards are full of big, recognisable names as well. Muli Pola alongside Girardini and Balmain in the front row. Deacon and Kitchener in the second row. Gibson, Salvi and Jordan Crane make up the flankers. And then you look to the back line. Ben Young's Freddie Burns. What a 9-10 that is. Lua Manu will be an inside centre with Tui Lange on the outside. Scully and Gonover will be the wingers and Morris will be at fullback for the Leicester Tigers who will be looking to go 3-0 if at all possible here in the Aviva Premiership. It is round number three and we're all set for action here in this matchup between Bath and the Leicester Tigers. It is almost time to get underway and Bath say yes it is as Ford goes long deep down and it's returned from Crane and out on the full question is 22 or not but the uh, the ref says that was inside the 22 as the jumpers oh nowhere in fact at all they've completely messed up the line out as Bath and into the first contact and a penalty given away straight away Burns will line up his first shot at goal after just two minutes. And it will be the Tigers who are leading already. 3-0 over Bath. Not the start they had in mind, that's for sure. One little mistake at the breakdown. And they are trailing this match up 3-0 already. Second breakdown of the match. And now that's not expected. As away come Bath. Nice pass. Hooper gets a ball and it's intercepted from Gibson. And the Tigers get it straight back, but Bath keen to steal it. And they'll run it away through Stringer, who offloads nicely in the tackle to Ford. Ford breaks the line, gets taken down, takes a wee while to release the ball. But now they'll be going. It's Hooper again, passing, offloading, numbers here on the right. As Watson tries to bust and do it all himself, can't get through. Stringer again. Oh, advantage here for Bath. And they got to look to run it through Eastman. Eastman through one. Can't get away from the second. Good tackle from Burns. Still advantage. And we will go back for the offside. Against the Leicester Tigers. And this will give Bath a chance to go. Oh, back on level terms. What a horrible kick. George Ford misses that by miles. And it will be a 22 dropout, straight back into the action. Down it goes to Ford, who hits the line hard. And gets taken out, good tackle. Oh, and turnover from the Tigers. So that's a good turnaround of possession there. Upfield they attack. Oh, but turnover from Bath. So Stringer needs to release his troops here. There's a short pay, nicely to Benahan. Hits the line hard, as you'd expect from him. Stringer again. Fires one. 
Well, they don't know where they're going here, Bath at all. Oh, it's Houston! Has smashed! Big backwards tackle as Bath slowly retained the ball here. Ford running the cutter nicely for Burgess. Burgess is smashed, but he's got the pass. Away it goes to Watson. And not a bad effort in the end. Stringer again. They run it first line. Oh, Houston! It's a penalty and a scrum. Advantage for the knock on. Leicester get the put in. The Tigers looking to put the set piece to work here. If they can, and they do get it back for Youngs. Youngs goes left side to Burns, who puts it on the boot. Hits it high. Oh, what a kick from Burns. One bounce into touch. Line out, five out. For Buff. Is it going to look to throw to the front? They've given it away. Well taken too. Can Bath defend this? The Tigers are looking very good here. Now they'll swing it out wide. Youngs goes to Kitchener. Slips it back infield to the left-hand side. No reward there at all for the Tigers. As back it goes to Mercer. And Guy Mercer punishes this ball downfield. Great clearance. It's 3-0. Still to the Leicester Tigers. Is up. They both go to the front. Good competing at the lineouts. This is round three of Eva Premiership. Youngs will go out to Crane. And Crane hits the line hard. Taken down for a slide. Oh, Stringer's got it here. Hit the back. Pass of the ball. Oh, intercepted. Salvi's away. Into the 22 he goes. Taken down is Gibson. Good tackle from Houston. Had to be made. Bath on the defensive once again. And this time, James will have the kicking duties. The ball absolutely spikes when it hits the dirt. And running back is Morris from fullback. Oh, Bath get it back again. What's the play this time? Back it goes to Lowe. And Francois Lowe smashes this. Down towards the Tigers, 22. And they run it back through Burns. Nice work there. And now oh, it's ball back again for Bath. They go to the short side. Good running. Now it's Watson looking to shimmy. Oh, he put on the fend. And just about got away with it. Could have been an absolute brilliant play there from Watson. Now they maul it forward. Then it's the Tigers who go short side, straight into touch. So another line out here for Bath. And oh, that one has gone completely wrong. Lowe puts in a smashing tackle. But Bath get it straight back. Stringer. Houston has been destructive recently. Burgess runs hard and throws an intercept pass. And that is a disappointing finish. Bath get it straight back. Numbers. Now they go short side again. Mercer. Nice ball to Wilson. Wilson looks to shimmy and break through. Oh, he does exactly that. Great run from Dave Wilson. The big tight head prop gets the job done. Stringer feeds to the left. Inside the 22. A Bath. Stringer again. Goes this time to Benahan who gets hammered. Needs to figure something a bit better here. Stringer. Wilson. Not a bad play. Low. Nice ball out for Houston. Looked all. Oh, looked to get away. But he's been smashed. And Houston won't get a second try in as many weeks. Nice short run. And a good short pass for Atwood. How good is Bath looking now? They look desperate but they're going to lose it out. 40 minutes is up, and I'd imagine Burns will smash this into touch. Oh, what a shame. How dominant can Bath be without scoring a try? Story of their season so far. Dominating possession, getting go forward ball even, but not getting the points on the board. One penalty going to the Leicester Tigers, and that was easily converted as well from Freddie Burns. But on the other side, a miss to Ford has allowed the lead to stay just three points to nil. The Leicester Tigers doing a lot of hard work as are Bath, but the defence of both sides is proving to be too good for the other. And so after 40 minutes, round three of the Aviva Premiership here on Cornflakes Cricket is 3-0 to the Leicester Tigers. Hopefully some tries in the second half. You have to say Bath should feel a bit aggrieved that they have not scored one already in that first half. So back down to the action we go. 3-0 to the Tigers at halftime. Bath 
desperately looking for points. The Tigers getting their first real hit out of the season after a couple of easy wins. Freddie Burns will get us back underway for the Tigers. And Watson runs straight into some heavy traffic. And the ball comes back. Oh no, that's another penalty instantly given away. And Burns will double the lead. 6-0 to the Tigers. Well, that is not the start at all that the Bath side had in mind. As down the ball goes to Molly Poller. And we just about have an intercept. As away come the Tigers. But they've lost it now. Back it goes for Bath. And the ball squirts out the front. It's going to be advantage to the Tigers. As they'll well, lose it as well. And the ball is getting all sorts of messy. Eventually a scrum feed for the Tigers. And Ben Youngs feeds it. She's a stalemate out there. Neither side giving an inch. Now the advantage goes to Bath, uh, goes to the Tigers. And Youngs decides to kick. That's out of the fall. That's a mistake. So here we go. Bath need to sort out this line out. It has been dreadful and the dreadfulness continues as Lowe gets another massive hit and gives away the penalty. Wow, that is not good for Bath at all as the Tigers come driving forward and lose the ball. Back it goes. Bath looking to... Oh, big hit there as Eastman somehow gets the ball back. Bath looking to attack again. They go right side. They've got all the work to do all over again. And Gibson intercepts. And it's just deja vu all over again for this Bath side. Houston will go himself and get smashed. Big tackle on the number eight. To the short side. Good pass. And Benahan goes around the outside. Looks to fend and he gets put into touch. Well, the defense of the Tigers is just too good at the moment. And the line out of Bath is absolutely dreadful as Burns hits the line hard and loses the ball. Bath is so dominant at the breakdown, yet they've got nothing when it comes to attacking the ball. Again, they retain. Ford with a good run. Burgess, Burgess around the outside. Looks to push through, but a good tackle comes in once again from Gonover. And the Tigers get the ball back now. It's turnover city here. And they swing it left. Oh, oh, that's a big hit. Luamanu shrinks his way away from one. Goes up to the second line. Gets taken down. And Bath get the ball back. Well, isolated attacker. And that's what happens as Eastman looks to force his way through. But again, a good tackle. Takes him down. Short run. Oh, and Tui Lange picks it up. And he goes up to halfway for the Tigers. Bath are just dreadful. They were so good in the last match. As now Wilson seems to be the only one going forward. Great run from Ford. He somehow offloads. Good pass to Eastman. Who's trying desperately to hang on to this ball. The Tigers defense regathers. Oh no. Houston's pass to Benahan. Miles off the mark. And the line-out will go to the Tigers who go to the middle and Kitchener. And it's quickly out to Burns, who has been smashed in Bath again. Easily defuse that attack. Attacking through Watson. He somehow throws it out the back door. And James is out here all by himself. Surely Mercer has got it. I thought that was surely an intercept, but no. He's done well to retain the ball. It's all oh, big tackle on low. He's been hammered. We start to wonder here for Bath what the game plan is. We've seen a couple of tries from them last week. This week it's been all dreadful. Back to where they were in week one. Big pass. And it's all Benahan. Benahan's through. Can he get the wheels going? He looks to shift. But he gets hammered again. Morris at the back. Great job there from the fullback. Straight ball. Oh, good pack catch and great pass. Burgess. Looks to offload in field. Watson's the man. He gets it as well. And Bath hang on. Boy, they need a try. Weber. More oh, horrible ball. And Luamanu has got it back for the Tigers who lose it again. Stringer. Oh, big hit on him. Now it's back to James. And James looks to hammer his way through. 
Gets taken out. Good tackle. Time is ticking. Five to go on the clock. A short pass. Back for Weber. He's created space for Benahan. Benahan around the outside. Looks to pass through. Can't do it again. Morris, great work. Stringer. Looking out to the right-hand side now. Oh, great tackle. And he's being smashed again. Stringer. Doubles around nicely with Edward. No one home here. Edward for the corner. Edward going in. No, he's been hammered as well. Goodness gracious, this is fantastic defence. Running out of the line. Buff must score here. Oh, no, they've lost it. And it's been knocked on as well. That's good for Buff. Not good there, going the other way for Tigers. It's Watson. Watson's through. Watson scores. Time is up. What a try for Buff. It is all down to this. For Ford, run in front, nails it. And that will be full time. That is a fantastic finish for Bath. What an upset once again. We have seen it every week. Last minute try has secured Bath the win. But it is always Bath wanting to score tries. Every team they face happy to get the penalties. In the end... Bath, with the try, has been enough to get them over the line once again, Watson. How good is Anthony Watson? The man is a complete freak. He has scored the most key tries every match. Watson has been the man to score the tries. And he has proven to be a match winner, busting away, cutting back against the direction of the run, straight through the tackle, it was glorious. Deserved a replay, did it not? I feel it did. I feel there's an editing job needs to be done somewhere along that little passage there. We'll see if I remember to do it. But a brilliant run from Watson. Cutting back, breaking tackles, scoring the try. And then Ford missed one earlier. It was a long way out, but he made up for it by getting the match-winning conversion. So that is it. One try, one conversion is enough for Bath to beat the Leicester Tigers, who got two penalties. There was an unsuccessful shot from Ford as well. But that is the end of round three. Bath, two wins, one loss. What a start to their season. Now, this is interesting. That is the first loss for the Tigers. So let's have a look at the table and see this, how this affects everything going on. That glorious table. So a third round fantastic result for Bath has seen them bounce straight up to fifth place. That is a glorious spot to see them. I thought it might have been a season of holding up the end of the table after that first match. But somehow they've managed two wins in a row. And the team that they just beat, the Leicester Tigers, sit fourth. They have lost their second consecutive match. So they're on equal points, nine each which is four points for each win, plus a bonus point for that close fought loss in round one. Points differential, a bit of a concern of just plus seven, but then you look at teams like Exeter Chiefs who are on just plus one, and Gloucester who are minus 22 from two wins and two losses. Not the best. What's happened to Saracens though, might mention that. One win and three losses, and a minus four points differential. That is, that is amazing. Look at that, three losing bonus points, which means all three matches they've lost have been by less than seven, or seven for that matter. So one win, three losses, Saracen struggling, and the usual suspects are down at the bottom there, the Wasps, Falcons, London Welsh as well, the Irish. So a predictable table, but Bath are making the best of this chance. They sit in fifth, and they'll be very buoyant after that fantastic one-point win. So for round four, it is against the Northampton Saints, who are three from three. So don't think anything will get easier here, because this just keeps raising the level. I guess round five, we'll probably have Harlequins, knowing the way this competition's going at the moment. But they beat the Tigers, who were undefeated. Now they have to do the same to the Northampton Saints. It is technically an away match, so much to do here for Bath, but they'll take pretty good pride from those last two matches the tries starting to come things are starting to work things are being worked out as well 
The tackle breaking ability is absolute gold on Rugby 15. So that is my time for today. Thank you all for tuning in. And I'll see you all again next time for round four of the Aviva Premiership. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.